Hey, Liftoff fans, it's time for some Space and SpaceX news. Despite the Raptors' production crisis and other factors, Musk is still looking to reach his dream and get to Mars as soon as possible. In this video, we will tell you about his new plan to reach Mars and beyond. Stay tuned. Orbital flights and more in 2022. Musk says that the Starship's highly anticipated orbital flight could take place as early as January 2022. The company built its first full-size prototype of the Starship back in September 2019. In May 2021, it successfully launched and landed a full-size prototype, SN15, to a height of around 33,000 feet. The next phase is the orbital flight, which will send the ship and booster on a 90-minute trip. It will take off from the Texas facility, disconnect from the booster around 2 minutes after liftoff. During the event, Musk claimed the launch pad and tower would be complete later in November. SpaceX will then complete a series of tests in December before moving on to an orbital flight the next month. From there, Musk plans to host around a dozen test flights in 2022. What comes after 2022? From here, Musk has big plans for the future. Payloads Assuming the 2022 test flights are a success, Musk plans to move on to real payloads by 2023. It's unclear whether this means SpaceX still plans to launch Japanese billionaire Yusaku Mazawa on a trip around the moon in 2023. That mission, which will also include eight lucky competition winners, was originally detailed for 2018. Humans on the Moon The Starship is also expected to land humans on the moon as part of NASA's Artemis project. The agency's administrator, Bill Nelson, indicated earlier this month that the mission would likely occur no earlier than 2025. These capabilities would be used to eventually build a lunar base. Starship has the ability, because of the mass transport capabilities of transporting enough mass and people to the moon, to actually have a permanently occupied base on the moon, Musk said, much as we have a permanently occupied base in Antarctica. Humans on Mars SpaceX also plans to send humans to Mars, when is unclear. At the 2017 unveiling of BFR, Musk outlined an ambitious timeline of sending two uncrewed ships in 2022 and two more uncrewed ships alongside two crewed vessels in 2024. At the most recent event, he suggested that SpaceX would send at least two or three uncrewed starships to demonstrate that the ship could land safely on the planet. We might be working with NASA or maybe NASA and other countries to send people to Mars, he said. This all paves the way for Musk's long-term goal to build a million-strong city on Mars by 2050. Beyond Mars Musk explained that the ships could enable a planet-hopping network, as the ship could refuel at propellant depots on the Moon or Mars and continue on their journey. If we have a base on Mars with a high delta V, you could really, you can basically planet hop, he said. From Mars to maybe Ceres, to maybe one of the moons of Jupiter, and ultimately all the way to the outer solar system. Musk even hinted at the idea of sending a 100-ton object to the surface of Europa, one of Jupiter's moons. Architecturally, it is capable of transporting almost any arbitrary mass to any solid surface in the solar system, he said. When will SpaceX's Starship get to Mars? According to Elon Musk, it could be surprisingly soon. The company's underdevelopment rocket has yet to complete its first orbital flight, but in a Monday interview, the SpaceX CEO appeared positive that the ship will meet its most ambitious targets on time. These include a trip around the moon in 2023 and getting to Mars this decade. Musk made the comments in a Time interview published Monday. The magazine also announced that Musk is its Person of the Year for 2021. The comments suggest that, despite clashes with the Federal Aviation Administration and issues with the ship's Raptor engine, Musk remains confident that his ambitious ship will power SpaceX's biggest missions this decade. If he succeeds, SpaceX could help transform humanity into a multi-planet species. He aims to use the early missions to kickstart a million-strong city on Mars as early as 2050. But as space consultant Rand Sinberg told Inverse in November, Musk's biggest hurdles could be a little closer to home. During the Monday interview, Musk suggested SpaceX could head for the moon in around two years. I think we can do a loop around the moon maybe as soon as 2023, he says, and land on the moon's surface within three years. He also claimed that SpaceX could land on Mars by around 2026. I'll be surprised if we're not landing on Mars within five years, he finally says. That suggests three upcoming deadlines for Musk. Moon Mission 2023 This is likely a reference to Dear Moon trip outlined in 2018, which will send Japanese billionaire Yasuku Mazawa and a group of passengers on a tour around the moon. The six-day voyage will take three days to get to the moon and three to come back. 
moon surface 2024. In April, NASA announced that it had chosen SpaceX to build the lunar lander for its upcoming Artemis mission. This will send the next man and first woman to the surface of the moon. SpaceX's ship will transport the astronauts between the Orion spacecraft and the surface. It's unclear whether the Artemis mission will actually meet this target, as NASA says that 2025 is a more realistic goal. Administrator Bill Nelson claimed in November that the project lost nearly seven months in litigation. Mars Mission by 2026 In 2017, Musk outlined a plan to send the first cargo ships to Mars by 2022. At that time, Musk described this timeline as aspirational. Following the first cargo ships, Musk plans to send the first humans to Mars the next time the two planets come close enough. Will Elon Musk meet his ambitious timeline for the moon and Mars? What's fascinating about Musk's new comments is that he's sticking to his ambitious timeline. This is despite two main setbacks. Delays to the first orbital flight. SpaceX is preparing to launch a prototype of the Starship and its accompanying Super Heavy booster on a trip into orbit. In August, Musk claimed the ship would be ready to reach orbit in a few weeks, pending only regulatory approval. The Federal Aviation Administration delayed these plans due to an environmental review. The review will determine whether the ship can fly. Space entrepreneur Rand Simberg explained to Inverse last month that it speaks to Musk's latest issues. Musk's latest issues is not technical. It's regulatory, Simberg says. He's waiting for the Federal Aviation Administration to give him permission to fly out of Boca Chica and to an orbital flight. Raptor Production Crisis Earlier this month, it emerged that SpaceX is struggling to build enough of the Raptor engines that will power the Starship and Super Heavy. Together, the two vehicles require 39 engines. Musk has an ambitious target to build 800 to 1,000 Raptor engines per year. But in an email to staff earlier last month, Musk called for all hands on deck to recover from what is a disaster. No Starship means no Starship revenue from governments and commercial clients. Earlier this month, Musk warned that a severe global recession would mean that bankruptcy, while still unlikely, is not impossible. On December 3rd, Booster 5 made its Starbase debut as a nearly whole booster. While there is still a large amount of detailed work yet to be completed, this move of Booster 5 shows that progress is at point where the vehicle can be moved out of the high bay ahead of Ship 21 stacking. As a reminder, ships can only be stacked in the high bay due to the limited height of the mid bay. And that concludes today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, and want to see more, subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching and see you next time.